Hey everyone, it's Lynn, and um, I, I just wanted to go live and um, have a fun conversation together. Like, do something normal for a change. It's been a while since I've done something normal. Weeks, I think. Anyway, so I thought, what would I normally do? And um, normally, every month, I unbox the Keto Crate boxes, and I have not done that for the last couple of months. So. You can't get them anymore, so it's um, you can't buy them or anything, but I just thought we would have just a fun discussion. And what I would love to do while I'm unboxing the last two Keto Crates, which would be February and March of this year, um, I would love to just share the highlights of our week or share positive points or something cool that happened or, you know, just, I don't know, some feel-good stuff. So, and if you have photos of things that happened or things you saw or things you liked this week, feel free to uh, post those in the comments too. That would be great. So, um, off the top of my head, the first one that I can think of is that the sun came out this week for the first time in what feels like months. We have had nonstop rain here in Tennessee. And the sun came out for the last three days in a row. And so, the first day the sun came out, Slim and I just sat in the sun for an entire hour, and it was so fabulous. And the second time that the sun came out, I gave Slim a bath. It got really warm. It was hot in the sun, and I gave Slim a bath out in the driveway. We had a big, like, bubble bath in the driveway. And then today, the third day the sun was out, I pulled um, all my plants out. So they were, um, what do you call it? I had to get some advice on that. They were um, dormant. I guess for the winter and so I pulled them out and put them on the deck I hope that was the right thing to do maybe some of you like smarter plant folks will know or tell me but anyway um, those were some of my highlights uh, from the last few days with the sunshine and such anyway I would love to hear something positive uh, something good that happened to you or that you saw or that you felt or experienced or or even something funny or whatever the case um, mostly, I just thought it would be nice to have some human connection. <laughs> and um, I'm an introvert, so I'm good with quarantine, but I miss you guys, and it's been a little while, and um, I thought it would be fun to talk about anything but. So that's why I thought it would be fun to unbox the keto crates, because that'll keep my mind busy, and we can talk, you know, keto snacks, we can talk low-carb lifestyle, we can talk Q&A, any questions that you have. Um, and highlights. I would love to hear your highlights. Like, what was your highlight of today? I've, I've had quite a few, actually. I'll have to think more on that, but the sunshine, I'm not pointing the snipe at you, sorry. It's this, by the way, here's a highlight. Being here with you guys is a highlight of my day. But this is, uh, was out of my grandmother's drawer and my grandmother who passed away, and um, I will tell you, like, I, I spent her last two years with her, taking care of her before she passed, and um, I have very few things of hers, but they're very special to me, and they're very simple things, or what have you. But anyway, I'm going to use that, because I literally have not even opened these boxes, so I don't know what's in them, so it'll be a fun surprise. And that's one of the things I like about getting Keto Crate every month, is it's, a, it's like getting a birthday surprise, like getting a big box of surprise every month, and it's a lot of variety, so it kind of helps you mix things up. So this is the most recent box. How many of you um, get Keto Crate every month or have gotten it before? And if you got the March box, what did you like or not like about it? Or did you like most of it? Or like, what was the consensus? I haven't even heard any feedback on it. So you guys um, that are watching will have to leave a comment here so that I know you're here. And I know that it's so that I know that it's working. I haven't done this in a while. All right, um, so, oh, this is fun. Yeah, I am behind, because I see St. Patrick's Day in here. <laughs> so, how are you? Leave a comment. I want to make sure my comments are working. Let me see what this is. Oh, Denise said hi. Now I can see that it is working. Yay, thank you, Denise. That makes me feel better. I was starting to feel like like really lonely there for a second <laughs> that's funny isn't it funny how sometimes you can feel more like you can feel lonely in a crowd or like you know when you're with a group of people like this like because I thought nobody was 
paying attention or, or could, I couldn't hear what you were saying or something. But then you can be completely alone and not be lonely. Like, that's interesting. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is uh, the March Keto Crate. And I'm just unboxing this for fun. You can't get these anymore. They're sold out. Um, I was going to unbox the February and March Keto Crate just for some, you know, conversation stuff while we're talking about other things. But again, I want to hear the highlight of your day. What was the highlight of your day? Um... <clears throat> All right, so they put these fun things in here. Uh, new year, new who. So it says, remember your why, make a plan, don't give up. Those are some good tips, but there's a lot of actual tips that go with it, as you can see. Um, so they got lots of cool, fun stuff in here. Oh, they got a success story, and it's a guy. I love men's success stories, too, because there's so many of us women in our group, you know, so it's fun sometimes to um, hear the guys speak up in our group and also to read their success stories. So I always love these inserts that are in the Keto Crate. Um, anyway, I'm just going to um, go through the box just for fun, but I, would really, I really came on here for conversation. So talk to me. How did your day go today? I would love to hear. All right, so uh, besides this, which came in the box that I just showed you, this is what the box looked like. And this is March 2020 Keto Crate. Um, so that's what that's what it looks like. We're just going to dig in and see what's in it just for fun. All right, so I'm just going to go right in and see. We have uh, Lenny and Larry's Keto Cookie, chocolate chip keto cookie. Anybody tried this? I've never heard of this brand, so that's interesting. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what it sweetens with real quick. Can't get to it. And I don't have my glasses on, so this is like not a good time for me to be trying to read ingredients. Oh, erythritol. I like erythritol. That works for me. Uh, but it does have chicory root fiber. That's an ingredient I can't eat. Do you guys have any ingredients you can't eat? Like, it bloats me up and, and makes me sick, but it's really popular. It's actually, um, some people do really well with it. It helps their gut health, and other people do really bad with it for whatever reason. That's an interesting or odd thing. Anyway, so that it looks delicious, though. And I will tell you, in quarantine, at some point, I might get desperate enough to eat it. <laughs> uh, next thing in here is an IQ bar. I haven't tried these yet. I've seen them before. Um, this one surely has, oh, it's peanut butter chip IQ bar. Um, hey, Mark. Hey, how are you? Uh, so I don't know. There's a glare or something. Let's see if we can get it up close. There we go. IQ bar. Have you ever had one of those? So there's two products I've never had before. So I'm going to have tons of variety, which is great. I'm going to need it. <laughs> How are you doing so far over there? I've got another bar right here in the top of the box. This is a complete surprise to me. Like I said, I have, I had not um, previously opened this box or even peeked inside of it or anything. So this is going to be fun. Um, Ketology came out with bars. Did you guys know that? Um, and F bomb came out with bars too. I haven't tried either one of them, but I have discount codes. So if you need a discount code uh, for Keto Crate, Ketology, F bomb, or any company, and you want to get a better deal than just paying full price, leave a comment for what you want, and I'll be sure to get it to you. Um, so this is a Ketology Keto Bar. These are new to me. Chocolate almond butter. Anybody tried those yet? If so, I would love to hear your opinion. Mark said he's bored, but good. Okay, well, we've got to get over the bored thing. So <laughs> that's why we're here, to have fun and hang out. Um, tell me again. I'm, asking, I'm going to ask you guys 300 times until you tell me what was the highlight of your day today or this week. Denise said I got the Keto Crate for the first time. It was I was really surprised how many items were in the box. Yes, I have no idea how many are in this box, but it's a box full of fun for sure, always. It'll be fun to see what's in the April box, too. Um, so next thing in here is a chocolate bar from Kiss My Keto. And let me just tell you, these are apparently made out of gold. I do like these. These are very good. But I don't personally buy them because they are expensive for chocolate bars. But most, like, good keto chocolate bars are expensive. Even Lily's, I can get them at a better deal sometimes. 
but these are really good and but they cost they're not cost effective for me to buy for, as far as chocolate goes um, so I'm happy to get one in my keto crate that was the whole point I was getting to because I'm not going to go buy a box of you know four or five or twelve or whatever the case um, anyway this one is pumpkin seeds and sea salt dark chocolate so that's going to come in really handy when I need a chocolate fix yeah, I do like their bars, and the only other thing that I buy at Kiss My Keto, just being honest with you, um, I love the people at Kiss My Keto, but I don't like the products, except the chocolate bars, which, like I said, I don't, I find them to be expensive, and for good reason. They're made with good quality products. All of Kiss My Keto is good stuff. I just, I don't like their bars, um, and just, just preference. I think some people do like their bars. Anyway, um, the only other thing I buy because my keto is their MCT oil is very high quality and a very good price. And that and Perfect Keto are both really good price, really high quality. However, whenever I have a discount code for Perfect Keto, it beats it by price, beats because my keto by price. So I like to watch for the sales and discounts and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm excited to get this because I won't buy them for myself because of the cost. So that's one of the fun things too about Keto Crate. Um, alright, just checking in. Who else is here? Check in with me and tell me who you are and where you're from. Let's hear that. Where are you from? So if you're in the United States, which state or which country would love to hear where you're from. Uh, the next thing, oh, I love these. The next thing in the box is front porch pecans and these are one of my favorite pecans and I'll tell you why specifically. There's, these are the sea salt roasted pecans. I like the flavored ones too, but these are my favorite. Just the basic sea salt pecans. And I buy pecans all the time. So I buy planters, roasted salted pecans. I buy regular like store brand raw pecans, which I really like because they're kind of sweet. They're just raw pecans. Um, but these are, for whatever reason, they're like the freshest, crispest roasted pecans I've ever had. They are really, really good. Um, so I like this brand. Good stuff. So we have Denise from Virginia and Judy from Rhode Island. Debbie is in North Carolina. Well, yeah, so we're representing the East Coast. I'm in Tennessee, by the way, did I say? And Mark, you're also in North Carolina, am I right? I think. Or South Carolina. All right, next thing in the box. Are you guys ready? Surprise! Yes, I love pecans too. I think everybody knows that I love pecans, right? Um, oh, we have pork and good, and everybody loves these pork rinds. This is nacho cheddar flavored chicharrones. Yeah, so those would be really good with, uh, oh, I got some, I have some um, yummy dip. I think those would be really good with, and they'd be really good with that caramelized onion dip too. Or what did I get? Oh, I got a ranch dip when I got my groceries delivered. Uh, we're gonna stay off that topic. What else do we have here? Ketosis cups, almond espresso chocolate keto cups. There's two keto cups. Love is in the air and it smells like coffee. <laughs> I like that, very nice. Um, cocoa butter, almond butter, erythritol, stevia, almonds, cocoa powder, coffee beans, and salt. That sounds good. I could do that. I don't know what it is, but if I run out of coffee, I'm going to find out real quick. <laughs> like, anybody know what that is or tried it? It might be backwards. Is it coming through backwards for you? Like mirrored? Linda said I'm in Plattsburgh, New York. Yeah, Mark is in South Carolina. So, so yeah, we got the East Coast covered. wonder what the West Coast is doing today. Uh, we're still into the same box here. All kinds of fun stuff. There's still more stuff. Oh my goodness. I just found, I just saw something in there that I liked. Uh, Denise said candy, meaning what? Oh, it does look backwards. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't even remember what I had up, guys. Oh, yeah. This chocolate keto cups, two cups, it's candy. Oh, I thought it was coffee. <laughs> you just ruined my day. I was going to save this for when I ran out of coffee. That would have been a trick, right? Thanks, Denise. No, okay. Never mind. It is candy. Look, she was correct. 
Those look delicious. Okay, yeah, you know what? Good ingredients. I'm eating those tonight. Let me just set that right over here. I'm having those. Thank you for the clarification. I thought it was actually coffee. <laughs> Uh, Mark said we should have a virtual coffee break. Well, now it's going to be a virtual candy break because I was mistaken about what was in the what was in the box. Judy said yes, it does look backwards. Sorry about that. Um, the next thing is a fat bar, caramel, and sea salt, and I do like that flavor. Um, two net carbs, so that's what that is. Mirrored. Um, also in the box, this is so much fun. So there's a lot of sweet and salty and different flavors and different textures. And it's definitely for those, you know, if you like snacks. Me personally, I don't generally snack. Although I will admit, since quarantine, I have snacked two or three nights in a row. I did um, snack, which is not like me. And it was cheese and chocolate. Like what a weird combination was that, right? Um, but it sounded good at the time and I didn't feel like, I think it was, you know, kind of like I was having small meals or something and I, it got to the end of the day and I was like, I need something to eat. And it was cheese and chocolate, like three nights in a row. But I was like, <laughs> no guilt. <laughs> oh, well, it was, you know, low carb chocolate, you know, top zero. Speaking of, um, I think they're... I think they're selling out of stuff, Chalk Zero. All right, the next thing is, and we all love Chalk Zero, right? Does anybody not love Chalk Zero? Feel free to say so. We are in a judgment-free zone here. I like opinions. Um, the next thing is Parmesan cheese crisps, and these are uh, wisps, I guess just Parmesan flavor. So everybody loves those, right? I like them dipped in sour cream. F-Bomb makes the best ones, I think. Um, they have, like, different flavors, like the chili and lime. They have chili, lime, cheese crisps that dipped in sour cream are the best movie snack ever, 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 ever. I have a discount code for F-Bomb, so if you're interested in their stuff, just let me know. That's where I got that macadamia coconut butter that I swirled on top of the blueberry stuff the other day. All right, what else is in the box? Only one more thing, and it's really not that great, so I might as well not even show it to you. <clears throat> because they're sold out on their website, you can't get it, it's just gonna make you sad. I'm tricking, it is Chalk Zero. That's exciting. <laughs> I love Chalk Zero. This is Pecan Keto Bark. Milk chocolate, pecan keto bark. And I know Deborah loves dark chocolate, but I love all things milk chocolate. And so uh, I got my pick this time. Uh, Judy said tomato basil are the best wisps. T wisps taste like pizza. That sounds good. That sounds really good, actually. I haven't tried those. I'm not a big fan of the flavor of basil, though. And I know that sounds crazy because a lot of people love it. But this is a win in the Keto Crate. This is March's box. Well, by the way, in case you joined in late, you can't get either one of these. I have the February and the March box. They're sold out. So I'm just doing this just for fun and just for us to have something to talk about. And if you got either one of these boxes um, or you're familiar with e any of these products or you've tried them before, I would love to hear what you thought, what your favorite things were or are, etc. What's your favorite Chalk Zero, by the way? So I have a discount code, as you know, for Chalk Zero, and um, I am kicking off some giveaways. I am way behind on everything for obvious reasons so that we're not going to talk about because we're staying positive and we're talking about our highlights and talk, we're having fun. Um, but I'm way behind, but I have some really cool giveaways you guys are going to love. So stay tuned for those. Make sure that you're getting um, signed up by email because I'll send out an email and have, have links to the giveaways. There will be some on Instagram and some on Facebook. And if you're on both platforms, you can. if you're on Facebook, you can enter that one. If you're on Instagram, you can enter that one. If you're on both, you could enter both. So just saying. All right, so just for fun, that was one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten products in the March Keto Crate, which, by the way, like I said, you can't get anymore, but 
Thank you for telling me this is candy. I'm having this tonight with my cheese. <laughs> Did you try them yet, Denise? Did you try these candies, the coffee candy? It's called Almond Espresso Chocolate Keto Cups. Were they good or not? Like texture, flavor? I'm assuming you ate them since you already opened the box because I thought it was coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to keep that at the top and have that in a minute when we get done. So there's the March Keto Great Box. That was fun. That was a lot of good stuff. A lot of, you know, we got sweet snacks, we got crunchy stuff, we got salty stuff. And that's one of the th things that I like. What I generally don't snack, and I don't generally eat candy, so, um, but I haven't had any dinner. I had a really nice lunch today, and I typically eat one good meal a day, and then I'll have like a snacky dinner. That's been a trend lately. But used to, I would have more like, you know, kind of a, a fast breakfast. If I had anything besides coffee, it would just be some pecans or, or, you know, a bar or something like that, string cheese even, you know. And then lunch, I might have, you know, a decent dish lunch or whatever, and then dinner would be my big meal. But lately, it seems in the middle of the day, I prefer to have, you know, kind of my substantial meal. And then in the evening, I might just have a small snack. But it just kind of, I don't have like a, a oh, I'm so strict with myself. I'm only going to eat in, you know, this this time or I'm only going to eat this amount at this time. I really just go by hunger signals, which means I eat when I'm hungry. I don't when I'm not. I quit when I'm full. Sorry, I quit when I'm satisfied. So you stop when you're satisfied instead of stopping when you're stuffed, which is what I was used to. You know, prior to going keto, that's, I mean, we ate till we couldn't anymore. You know, that was, that here in the South, that's pretty typical, you know? Like, are you full? <laughs> yeah, but I'll have one more serving kind of a thing, you know? But anyway, um, so that was one of the things I really had to start being very mindful about was my hunger signals. Like, I am satisfied, and I find I'm satisfied a lot more easily and a lot quicker in ketosis. And recognizing that and saying, I, I'm going to stop. I think I'm done. And then I will generally put away if I made you know more food than I can eat. I will just put it away and have it for leftovers or get creative with it somehow, scramble it into some eggs or whatever later. Um, but I like that. Freedom to eat when I'm hungry, don't when I'm not, keep it simple, you know, no no stress <clears throat> or whatever. And that's especially helpful lately. I'm not pointing this knife at you, sorry. That's especially helpful lately because I'm very off schedule. Um, my Great Dane is having some problems at night, and so he's waking me up every three hours. So I've, I had one full night of sleep this week, one. And I've been running on empty and kind of edgy. And then all of a sudden, um, I, I thought, when I finally laid down this morning, it was about 6.30 this morning, and um, got him settled, and he'd eaten breakfast already, and I was like, we're going to have a sleep, which is going to be great. And, um, and then I had all kinds of distractions and interruptions, and I got woke up several times, and I finally gave up and got up. I've been up all day, so <laughs> it's been a tough week. But we were talking about our highlights. So, highlights, please. What was the highlight of your day today? Did a friend call you? Did you have a belly laugh? Did you read something really funny on the internet that was maybe, you know, not quite appropriate, so you're not going to share it with me, but it was funny anyway? I watched a video like that that I want to share with you guys so bad because I laughed. I watched it three times and sent it to two of my friends. But I laughed so hard I cried, and I was like, I want to share this with you guys so bad, but it's like borderline offensive. <laughs> I don't know if it's like bad taste or hilarious. I think it's kind of both. So I might actually share it on my blog and then let you guys decide if you want to watch it and explain to you why I feel that way, but it was funny. That was a highlight of my week, too. All right, this is, and let me make sure that I'm telling you this correctly, and again, I don't have my glasses on. February Keto Crate. Again, not available, so there's nothing to buy here. You cannot buy this box anymore. I'm just behind unboxing them and having fun to see what's in them. I thought I would invite you to join me because I miss you. So what's in the February Keto Crate? Look, I'm just having a like holiday flashback because we had St. Patrick's Day in the last box, and now we have Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we're like backtracking through the calendar here. 
So let's talk about February and about Valentine's Day. Where were you on Valentine's Day 2020? Does anybody know where I was? I had a date. Anybody know? Pop quiz. I don't know if I shared actually where I was. It might still be on my phone. <clears throat> so I'll just go ahead and tell you. I was at a, I almost told you the wrong band. I was at a Moon Taxi concert in Knoxville, Tennessee with Aaron. So we both are big Moon Taxi fans and um, they were playing on February 13th and 14th, I think. It used to be my favorite day, Mark, yeah. And I haven't felt that way in a few years. I kind of lost my passion for it, but that's a whole other story for another day. But anyway, um, you have known me for a very long time to be able to say that because I have been celebrating Valentine's Day as my favorite day of the year to celebrate everything under the sun that I love. I've been doing that for, well, it's 20 years this year, actually, since the year 2000, Valentine's Day 2000. Yeah, so, um, but the last few years I've been kind of quiet about it. Anyway, um, all right, so let's see what's in the February Keto Crate. Nobody else wants to tell me where they were Valentine's Day 2020 because we're into the February Keto Crate. And we'll be done in a few minutes, so I still would love to hear the highlight of your day. All right, so again, we have one of these fun things. Oh, I love these, the fold outs. They always have something really cool in them. We have a really, oh, Chelsea's Keto Success Story. I'll show it to you. And there's lots of good stuff in the, here. Show love without food. How to do that. How to show love without food. Um, love yourself now and watch yourself flourish. I like that. And there's a whole piece on it here. So it gives you so much motivation and inspiration with success stories and tips and ideas. And um, it has a Valentine's Day card in here that you can cut out and share. How cool is that? They're so creative. Oh, Mark said we were on MySpace. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's awesome. MySpace. How many of you remember MySpace? What was before MySpace that we did? There was Yahoo Messenger. There was Yahoo Games. Um, I'm trying to remember prior to that, there was something cool. And I can't remember what it was. Oh, Linda said February 14th was my granddaughter's birthday. Very nice. All right, so February keto crate because now we're now we're having all oh, hearts. <laughs> I had a fun time that night. I danced, had a few beers, low carb beers, and went to eat at Calhoun's on the River in Knoxville, Tennessee, and had salmon and uh, spinach Maria, which I turned out to be higher carb than I expected, but it was pretty good. It was delicious. <clears throat> Anybody remembers that from wherever months ago that I posted? Um, so anyway, in the box we have Ultima um, Replenisher, and a lot of people really like these. They're like little dr drink mixes that you put in your water bottle. Can you see that on the back? So they're really good, you know, when you're on the go or out hiking or, you know, like hiking around your house <laughs> in quarantine. Uh, Susan said, making every attempt to shelter at home in Florida. So I watched five episodes of Person of Interest on WGN, and I can't um, even remember that far back to February 14th. <laughs> I love Person of Interest. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you brought that up. I'm totally going to look it up somewhere and binge the whole thing. I watched it start to finish when it was actually airing live, and it was the trippiest thing because it was like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you had to have seen, like, you know, all of this stuff. But it was like, you know, Ben finally gets off the island, if you ever saw Lost, right? So Ben finally gets off the island, and he meets up with Jesus Christ in New York City. And they're, like, taking people down. And I was, like, having, like, the trippiest time um, putting this together in my head because I saw um, – the Passion of Christ, which had the same actor in it, uh, and then um, and then Lost. I watched the whole six years worth of Lost in five weeks. So anyway, then when Person of Interest comes on, and it's like Ben gets like it, it's just like the whole thing made sense, you know. <laughs> 
ah, oh, because Ben gets off the island and teams up with Jesus. Like, you just, you had to be there, I guess, in my own head, I mean. Um, I have a hard time with that. Do you guys ever have a hard time with that? Like, when the same, well, like, one of your favorite actors, let's say, plays different roles in different movies, and you have all this, like, crossover in your head about who they are. Like, Julia Roberts is forever pretty woman. Is she not? <laughs> like, in a, new, in a new movie or, or in a different movie or what have you. In my head, I guess, maybe. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, thanks for bringing that up. I used to love Person of Interest. I miss that show. <clears throat> That's a good one. All right. Did you guys get my reference, though? Did you see Lost and Passion of Christ? Both? Those were pretty popular. <laughs> anyway, it's the two main characters of Person of Interest. All right, so we have electrolytes. We have, ooh, I love these. We have, um... I think these are cinnamon. Wait a minute. Why can't I tell what flavor they are? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is a new flavor I haven't ever tried. Um, smart cakes, anyway, I was gonna tell you. Smart cakes I love, and I think I have a discount code on these too somewhere. Anyway, smart cakes, I love, love, love. And if you want to see how I eat smart cakes, you will be like, why did I never think of that? Just type smart cakes in the comments and I will send you my link and you'll be floored because I made like this beautiful like spread out of smart cakes. Anyway, um, this new flavor is vanilla latte. Have you tried these yet? This looks really good. Deborah said thanks for always making sure we know about the discounts on great products. Yeah, don't pay full plot. Don't pay, don't pay full price, ever. Susan said, yes, I saw all the episodes of Lost, and I'm still lost over the final episode. Well, let me just tell you, Susan, I not intentionally, but, you know, it's one of those things where I think my daughter was still living at home at the time, and um, she got me hooked on this, you know, Lost or whatever, so I get into it. Sorry, I get into it, and I binge. Like, I couldn't turn it off. I literally watched six years in five weeks. And then, right after that, the very next week, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get off the couch because, you know, I've got, I've got to uh, speak in Melbourne. I've got, you know, this and that. I've got all this stuff to do. So, I have to be in Melbourne. I'm an um, uh, international speaker. That's why I'm a low-carb traveler. In case you guys didn't know, I've been in business 23 years as a small business and marketing consultant and international speaker. So I've been to Australia five times, I've been to New Zealand once, all over Canada, um, all over the States, obviously, but I'm trying to think, like, where else? But anyway, so um, I get done binge-watching Lost, pack, and board a flight from L.A. to Sydney. And it didn't occur to me until I literally sat down in my seat and put my seatbelt on and started looking around. And all I could think of was, who's going to play who? <laughs> like, I'm scoping out everybody, you know, on the plane. Like, who's going to play who? And I'm deciding to myself, like, who I'm going to play. Because, like, you need to, like, nail that before you get to the island, right? Like, I want to go ahead and, like, claim my state, <laughs> whatever role I'm going to play. <laughs> it was so in my head. But you cannot watch six years of something in five weeks and not be, like, completely, like, you know, like, brain fried over it. <laughs> but I made it to Sydney and then on to Melbourne and spoke at my event. It was um, uneventful, the flight itself, we'll just say. Anyway, we were at two products in the keto crate, but I enjoy the conversation much more. Although I'm going to enjoy the snacks much more when you guys go to bed. All right. <clears throat> the third thing we have in here is Monk Pack Keto Granola Bar, Peanut Butter Granola Bar. That sounds interesting and good. Oh, I kind of really like the texture of that feel. Anybody try this stuff? I want to know what you thought of it, if you liked it, if you did try it, um, if you got the Keto Crate. So I want to hear what you've tried. Now, here's the product I just got through telling you in the other box that I don't like. But tell me if you've tried it and if you liked it. Because I have friends that liked it and I didn't. So it is the Kiss My Keto Chocolate Cookie Dough Bar. Kiss my keto bars I don't like. I do have a discount code for them, though. It's Low Carb Traveler. 
most everywhere my discount code is low carb traveler except chalk zero where it's traveling low carb and right now I have a specific new discount code for legendary foods which we all love um, that's a little extra off so anyway kiss my keto bars I didn't like um, and it's not like you know not to say they're bad or anything I had a friend that really did like them it just wasn't my preference um, I didn't like the texture, I didn't like the taste, they had an aftertaste to me, some, you know, I don't know, it was just a lot of different things. Um, anyway, so that, but that's in the uh, box, so I'll save that for a friend. I'm going to try not to think about how long that will be. <laughs> uh, Alright, next thing, oh, Tomer Kosher. So these sticks, this is uh, original kosher beef stick, I'm so excited to get this. Um, there are very few meat sticks that I like, and one of them is pork sticks um, from two different companies, but one specifically, and Tomer Kosher has some of the best beef sticks, and I don't really like meat sticks. I'm not a big jerky fan. I don't eat a lot of jerky or meat sticks or any of that kind of stuff, but I do like Tomer Kosher. These are good. I had a whole box of variety flavors, and they come like Tomer Kosher makes like jalapeno ones and like all kinds of different flavors, right? And I was staying in a hostel in San Diego a few years ago, and it was kind of a community kitchen, as is with all hostels. And I had this big variety box, and I only like certain flavors because, I, like I said, I don't really like meat sticks, but I do like the original ones. So I took the original ones out because I was eating them on my trip. And I thought, I'll share these so I just stuck them out and there were a couple other things I had extra of and I stuck them out in the community kitchen and these got gone like in a minute when breakfast hit when people came in and started cooking and making their breakfast these were like the the one thing um, that everybody wanted these are really good I like Tomer kosher am I saying that right yes all right so what else do we have in here we have Ooh, that looks really good. Cinnamon roll soft batch cookie. Gluten-free, sugar-free. That looks like thick and nice. Look at that. Anybody try this stuff? Like I'm way behind opening my boxes. So if you got this and you tried it, I want to hear what you thought of it. Give me some feedback. If it's bad, tell me before I eat it. <laughs> um, we have the um, DNX grass fed beef, uncured bacon, sea salt, and cracked pepper bar. Not really big into meat sticks, but that sounds good. Bacon, sea salt, and cracked pepper. Deborah said, Why do so many keto products in, have add chicory or inulin to lower the carbs? Um, there's a lot of different reasons, and you know, Deborah, not, I mean, you and I can't eat chicory root or inulin like because we have that problem with it, but for other people it has a lot of health benefits. So it's kind of a bio-individuality thing like so many other things are, um, but that one specifically really polarizes like the keto crowd because some people can eat chicory root, chicory, inulin, it goes by a lot of names. Some people cannot, you know, like and it goes like for some people, like it goes it skips the small intestine and goes straight to the large intestine. For some people, it's good. Like, it does some kind of great fermenting thing in the gut. It's good for gut health. It has a lot of, like, properties and benefits. I don't really know. Other people, like myself, I, like, blow up with distension. I look about four or five months pregnant, and I have to go straight to bed, and I will sleep for two hours. It literally knocks me out. It makes me so lethargic and so bloated. Chicory root. I don't know what's the deal with that. It's a very popular ingredient. Um, and a lot of people who choose not to use chicory root or inulin will sweeten with um, allulose instead. And that's hit or miss for me. Some products with allulose I really like and some I really don't. So I think it really depends on like the how they how well they get the flavors mixed with, you know, like the sweet and the salt, you know. Or um, the, it's, it has to be just right for allulose to really work for me. If they overdo it and try to make it like real sweet, you know, then it's too, I don't like it. But I don't like anything that's overly sweet. <clears throat> anyway, so we have meat, cookies, cakes, um, drink mixes. Oh, this looks like fun. This is Keto Connect. So they came out with their own keto bars, huh? And it is chocolate covered strawberry keto bars. 
I don't know. This is from the Keto Bar Company, but it says Keto Connect on it, so I'm not sure if that's... It's the Keto Bars Company. I have a discount code for these, too. Uh, I This is new. Are you guys familiar with this? Have you tried them? I'd be curious. I would like to look and see. It doesn't have that many ingredients. Chocolate, almonds, coconut, strawberries, erythritol, cocoa, water, coconut oil, salt, stevia, natural flavors. I'm good with that. So I do have a discount code for them too. So, and you know what? Stay tuned and let me see if I can get us an even better one. If you're interested, I like keto bars. I've been a fan of these for years, especially for hiking. All right. Uh, oh, I like these intact crunchy cheese. Spicy, crunchy cheese. I like that, the intact ones. They're like little bitty cheese balls. <laughs> so I'm doing this for fun, but really I want to hear the highlight of your day. So I'm going to have to start calling you guys out because you're not giving me a highlight. I gave mine at the beginning of the session, like I talked about. I laid in the sun. I got my plants out. Slim and I had a bath, or yeah, in the driveway. <laughs> um... There was something else, but I can't remember what it was. So what was the highlight of your day? Tell me something good that happened. All right, next in here is, ooh, veggie protein puffs, ranch veggie protein puffs. This looks like, feels like a bag of chips, which I might eat with that coffee, that I, the candy that I thought was coffee. I might have those tonight, too. It kind of sounds good, doesn't it? Veggie protein puffs. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound good. When now, well, like when I say it out loud, veggie protein puffs. That didn't sound good. Once I said it out loud, did it? But, but I think that, uh, but I think that I will like these because they're ranch flavored, crunchy somethings. So, and they're made by Better Than Good Snacks. A lady named Tina. I'm gonna have to meet Tina. <clears throat> So, anyway, this sounds good. Something crunchy. I like crunchy and good flavors. Next in the box for fun, for fun, is, oh, dark chocolate thins with hazelnut. So we have Ross chocolates. Check these out. That's fancy. But those are expensive. Linda said highlight of the day. Hi, Cheryl. Linda said highlight of the day, working in the yard. The warm sun felt so good. Yes. Man, the last three days, the weather here in Tennessee has been amazing for the first time in what feels like months. It's been raining for months. and um, But yeah, I've been the same way. Just being outside at all feels so good. So that's good to hear. You want to get out as much as you can in the sunshine. Um, sunshine is really good right now for a lot of reasons. And being outdoors and fresh air, obviously in your safe space. And... <laughs> Um, luckily I, you know, I had looked a couple of years ago, I thought about selling my house at this, his, you know, this home in the historic district downtown that's built in 1923, which is awesome because like I have a canning room underground and a sump pump, you know, like and all this great stuff, like from the twenties, um, that could potentially come in handy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, it's a great house, but it's, you know, in a small rural town, so I actually have a decent yard, I have um, privacy in the back, I have a back deck that's covered, you know, and I have all this room and space so that I can spend a lot of time outdoors and not be bothered um, or be, you know, around people or whatever. And a few years ago, I thought pretty seriously since the kids grew up and left home um, that this was way too much house for me and a dog, which it is. But I, I managed to use it, most of it anyway. Um, Anyway, so what was I saying? Oh, so I thought about selling the house and doing a condo on, on the river in the city. So I am just feeling, I am having this huge hit of gratitude. Like every single day that I wake up in my house, I look around and I'm like, I love my house. I love my home. I feel incredibly grateful to be here right now. Um, and so that's a nice thing. There's a highlight of the day. It's interesting what we can find gratitude in, you know, when circumstances and situations change. 
All right. So the last thing in the box is Magic Spoon's Fruity Cereal. How many of you have tried this? I also have a code and uh, for free shipping on Magic Spoon. However, I am going to see if I can work out to do a, a giveaway with them. So stay tuned for that too. I'm trying to do giveaways with all these companies so we can just have some fun giveaways. I'm going to ship Happy Mail to as many people as I possibly can this month. Um, so how many of you have tried Magic Spoon Fruity Cereal or any of the Magic Spoon cereals? I've never tried them. It seems like Fruit Loops to me, but they might be good dry too. Like, are they good dry? Like if you want to eat them like um, a crunchy snack, a sweet crunchy snack. I like Milkadamia and I like the vanilla, unsweetened vanilla Milkadamia, which is macadamia milk. And I like Almond Breeze and Simple Truth, both brands, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Those are the three milks that I like. They're very low carb, like one carb for a whole cup of milk. Um, and that's what I use for my low carb cereal. What about you guys? All right, so I'm gonna box this back up and we're gonna um, close this up here in a second. I think we've been on for like 45 minutes. Uh, I didn't mean to take up that much time with you guys, but I enjoyed it. Like I feel like, I felt like, you know what? I miss you. We haven't done this in a while. So how about, um, I have lots of actual, you know, lots of important topics lined up, conversations I want to have with you. <clears throat> I have lots of, um, like different fun things we can do that are not important topics. Like we can taste test the new legendary foods, uh, toaster pastries. I've been talking for so long. Hang on, my throat's getting dry. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we can taste test like uh, a lot of the, there's several different low carb cereals that are out and I have them. Um, we could do all kinds of fun stuff um, and get together and hang out and have some social time. But I also have some important topics I want to um, come on and share with you too. So I'll warn you ahead of time what we're going to talk about and you can pick and choose what you want to join in for. Uh, Cheryl said, I have tried Magic Spoon. It's pretty good. Very cool. Very good. All right, so February Keto Crate again. Neither one of these boxes are available, so this was just for fun. If you do want to get um, the next box, um, they come out every month. My discount code is Low Carb Traveler, and there's actually a discount link in the description of this video that will get you 25% off. So you get $10 off your first box. You can cancel any time, you can log in and skip months, you can change your frequency, you have total control. So it's not like you're locked in. So if you just want to get one box, like let's say you want to just like, I'm going to get an April box so I have extra variety and snacks to get through the month of April, which might be a good idea. <laughs> um, then you can sign up and then you can log in anytime and you can cancel your subscription or you can get it for another month or you can skip the next month or whatever you decide you want to do. So you're in total control, there's no contract, there's nothing like that. Um, it's just your, your decision, month by month. But I love it, it's a lot of fun. So there's so much fun stuff to try and all of this could come in really handy in my keto pantry. Mark said we can social distance with social media. Yes, stay 10 feet away please. Y'all, that six, that six foot rule is not working with me. Mine's 10. <laughs> I, would I looked on Amazon I did seriously look on Amazon for and I for something and I typed in sure that I would find what I was looking for but I did not I'm shocked with so if one of you creative people who is bored uh, Mark used that word already wants to start creating this product I think it would do very very well so I'll tell you what it is I got on Amazon because that's I do a lot of shopping on Amazon and I go to the search bar and I typed in personal space protector. <laughs> Do you know what I was looking for? Like in my mind, what was I envisioning in my mind? In my mind, I was looking for a belt like that is attached, like let's say bicycle spokes, okay, to this like hula hoop, we will say, that gives me 10 feet on both sides. And it would be like a, like, it would be like having yeah, like a bicycle, right? So it would be like a hula hoop with spokes so that it would stay out. And I want 10 feet on ev in every direction like this. So I thought for sure somebody would make that. Why is that not available? Why is that not a thing? 
Like when I type in personal space protector on Amazon, I'm like, prime me. I want that, you know, delivered in two days. <laughs> they don't make those. What is wrong with them? So I used to have to do it the old fashioned way with my arms, you know. So I was a, a single parent and I homeschooled and I worked from home. And the reason is I actually started my businesses in the city back in the 90s and uh, 23 years ago. <clears throat> I'm laughing, Susan. Anyway, I uh, started my business in the city 23 years ago and I had been in business a few years and my husband left and my son got really sick all in the same year. And I end up having to, um, I ended up having to shut my shops down and come home full time to stay with my son. So I had to work from home and then he got too sick to go to school. So I had to homeschool. So all the things people are going through now, working from home and homeschooling at the same time, been there, done that. I totally get it. So if you want to talk about it, I have tons of experience with that. I've been working from home now for, uh, been in, uh, working from home now for, yeah, it was 23 years in February. Anyway, what was the point that I was trying to make? Oh, back then I used a lot of different, you know, like a lot of different like tricks or jokes or, you know, different things like that because as a single parent, um, you know, and we were all three together all the time. I had no extended family involved, so there were no like grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, any of that stuff going on. It was just the three of us 24-7, 365 days a year, and it was tough. And so I had this thing where, you know, when I got stressed or anxious, I had extreme anxiety. Obviously, you know, I'm like trying to pull everything together by myself. Uh, but I used to have this thing where I would hold my arms out and I'd be like, if I can reach you, I can smack you. <laughs> like, this is my space right here. <laughs> so why does nobody make those personal space protector? Is that not a thing? Like, I didn't just make that up in my head, did I, when I searched it on Amazon? Don't you guys want one? I think 10 feet. 10 feet is fair. Of course, I don't let anyone in. So if I have to, like I was communicating, um, was communicating with someone about some stuff that I needed done outside, and I just talked to them through the glass door. Or when I had, you know, groceries delivered, I just spoke to her through the glass door. We had a great conversation, though. It was nice. All right, so we were going back into um, the February keto crate, and we had cereal, fruity loops cereal. And these look like very fancy chocolates. These are dark chocolate thins with hazelnut. Uh, we have the uh, ranch protein puffs, looks like chips. Uh, we have the cinnamon roll soft baked cookie. I didn't count, so that was that's four. Five is the Smart Cake Vanilla Latte. Six is the Kiss My Keto bar. Seven is this peanut butter uh, granola bar. Eight is the Ultima drink packs that go in your water bottle, bottled water. <laughs> Nine is the spicy crunchy cheese, yummy. These are great on a salad, by the way, instead of croutons. Ten, Tomer Kosher. I have a soft spot for these. These are good beef sticks, and I do not like meat sticks, but I like these. Eleven, twelve. We have the other meat stick that's uncured bacon, sea salt, and cracked pepper bar. And this one, which I'm pretty interested to try because I like keto bars. I have discount codes for a lot of this stuff. So if, you, if you're interested in something you saw in here or if you got the box and you tried something and you want to order more of it, don't pay full price. And I'll see if I can score us some deeper discounts on more things. As you guys know, I currently have um, a buy one, get one like um, deal on one thing and like um, a couple of other things. I have them listed on my website. So if you need discount codes, please don't hesitate to message me or ask me um, and I will do my best to uh, like get us more like I said get us some more stuff because I think you know we all need to be like you know save as much as we can but also getting the things that we need <clears throat> is this thing with my my hair is sticking out my neck there um, Jill said I had four kids I'm so glad those days are long gone. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh I mean, yeah, I laughed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I, I get it. 
I get it. I my it's it's one of the most amazing things when you do raise your children, when you have adult children, and you look at them and you're like, oh my gosh, I survived that. Number one, and then the second thing I guess I thought was, oh wow, I I, I did it. I made it. It's like running a marathon, like forever, and I made the finish line. And I guess the third thing that hit me, the third thought process that went through my mind was, wow, they turned out good so proud like seriously proud moment and um so anyway yeah that's uh that felt really nice and um I have so I have adult children my children are 23 and 28 actually in a few months they'll be 24 and 29 so um it's that's a whole new thing you know and I think you know like in hindsight I wish I would have done it the other way Actually, I wish I would have had my grandchildren first. I think I would have been a much better parent if I'd had my grandchildren first. So, um, but I've already decided that this first time of parenting adult children is definitely going to be my last time. I don't think I'm going to do that again. <laughs> I already decided. Mark said, the sign on Lynn's door, beware delivery men. If I can reach you, I can smack you. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. Um, Susan said, it's already over 90 degrees in Florida. How do you think the things that have chocolate will hold? Um, you know, that's a good question. Generally, I mean, this was a February box. So obviously there was going to be more chocolate in a February box simply because it was Valentine's Day. It was also winter and cooler temperatures pretty much, you know, around um, for both February and March boxes. I think that they're a lot more conscious, let's say, as we get into the warmer months, what they put into the boxes that may or may not be heat sensitive. So you can't get either of the two boxes that I just unboxed here. They're not available. Um, and this wasn't about, you know, having anything to sell. It was just about, I need to open up my keto crates and, you know, put this stuff in my keto pantry and start using it and enjoying it. So I just wanted to invite you to do it with me, that's all. Um, but because it was February when the, that box was shipped with the chocolate and the other one was early March, so it literally shipped like March 2nd or whatever, so it was still cool enough in most places for that not to be a problem. But I don't think they generally um, do ship things that are typically perishable or possibly perishable in the warmer months, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Not that there won't be chocolate things, but maybe not, you know, like chocolate candy that would melt or whatever. All right, questions, comments, anyone else want to share the highlight of their day today? How are you guys doing? Holding up all right? <laughs> I have my moments. All right, you guys are quiet. So we'll wrap it up and thank you. I just want to say a heartfelt thank you for joining in with me. Thank you for spending some time with me. Um, it felt good to have a conversation live with real people. Um, I wish I could see you too. So we may have to try a Zoom room sometime, but I don't know what you're wearing. Like how many of you are actually in your pajamas right now? Because I, I was. And if you want to know the truth of it, I got my leggings on under here. <laughs> I was only getting half dressed. I wasn't going all the way, but just curious. <clears throat> Mark said, this was my highlight. That's awesome. Very fun. Cheryl said, do well. We've been um, outside a lot, lots of yard work. That's so good. N the two things, the sunshine, the fresh air, but the second thing, um, that was one thing, two things, but anyway, the second thing is just being productive, doing something, that sense of accomplishment. You know what I mean? That feels so good. Jill said deep cleaning, same thing. It's like that physical, physical exertion and that sense of accomplishment, that feels so good. Uh, Cheryl said tank and shorts on. Very good. Very good. So we're all casual, having fun. This is the first time um, since I, I'm on week three of quarantine, and this is the first time that I have actually showered. I'm joking. I did shower a few times. This is the first time that I've actually like put on half half an outfit. <laughs> the other half is still my leggings. Um, Jill said, already in bed watching TV. Cool. Enjoy. And you guys have a great rest of the night or day, depending on when you're watching this. 
and we'll be back. I have lots more stuff I want to share with you guys. I have some good topics um, that I want to share with you guys about uh, if any of you are, are experiencing stress or anxiety or uncertainty or a range of emotions, you're not really sure what words to put on. Um, I've been through the, all of those as well and um, would like to talk about them and discuss them and such. Susan said, no Zoom video after six for me, just fun watching and listening. Awesome. I just like that we're here together. It feels um, social. All right. Have a good rest of the night or day, like I said, depending on where you are and what time it is. And I will be back and we'll have more fun talks. So, um, again, if you need discount codes for anything, if you liked anything you saw in the boxes, if you're watching the replay, say replay and tell me what you liked or didn't like if you got these keto crate boxes and we'll continue the discussion in the comments.